It's Monday morning as millions of children are once again studying at home today. The BBC is launching the biggest ever education programme in its history. Yeah, lessons aimed at primary and secondary pupils will be broadcast across TV and online. One of those behind the project is Professor Brian Cox, who joins us now alongside the BBC's Director General, Tim Davey. Morning, both. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, thank you morning. very much for joining us. Uh, so many uh, parents, uh, children, wake up this morning going, right, here we go again. Um, Brian Cox... It's, it's intimidating, isn't it? What's your recommendation to people? Well, well it is. And, and if you remember back in March, April, uh, the BBC had a, a primarily online uh, offering, which is tremendously successful. Um, it's a place where, you know, as you said, it's very challenging for parents to become teachers. It's actually not challenging, it's impossible, because teaching is a profession, and most people are not professional teachers. Um, but this, this material is prepared with the help of teachers and, and a host of people. I mean, you mentioned myself. We've also got Heston Blumenthal teaching uh, food science. We've got Marcus Rashford doing PE. You know, so these are experts in their fields. And uh, in March, April, we saw a, it was hugely popular, but it was all online. We had something like 70 million uh, downloads of, of the lessons. So people needed it and used it. The difference this time is that it's also on television because what I mean I think everybody's realised is that there's a huge problem with with uh, children and, and parents who do not have access to fast internet and laptops and so on, and so that's been remedied this time. So you so that there are lessons on CBBC um, with with all these people as I said who are teaching the lessons, and also BBC Two. And it's also focused this time not only on primary but on secondary. And so, for example, in the afternoons, uh, we've got, well, this week actually, not to be self promoting, but we've got one of my series, The Planets. And um, the reason we've got that is because it's linked to the curriculum. So, all this, and the key point is all these lessons are um, they're curated by experts, teachers, educationalists, and so on. So, they do fit. It's not just putting your children in front of the television to keep them quiet, it should be seen as part of the homeschooling effort. And uh, Tim Davey, you've not been in the, the job too long, but I'm sure you know very well how uh, hard it is to sometimes get the big cogs at the BBC turning. So as soon as lockdown three was instigated, was this part of the process to try and make sure that the BBC was involved in this huge educational programme? Absolutely. I mean, one of the great things the BBC does actually is um, seven out of ten secondary children use services like Bite Size. So we weren't um, uh, starting from a a cold start, as it were. I think we could move pretty rapidly because we've got lots of experience. Brian described it beautifully in terms of all the various uh, component parts of built lessons, as well as um, some of the programme we've got. The, the, the critical thing here is it's complementary to what the teachers are doing. They're doing that standing job. There's a, there's a vast amount of online schooling going on. But the one thing the BBC f felt this time, and I personally feel it as a parent, was 1.7 million children you know, they don't have access to a laptop or a PC. We've also got um, a lot of children, you know, struggling with uh, basic mobiles or data packages. I mean, one of the bits of news today that's going to come through, which is great, is we've partnered with BT and they're not going to be charging for data for people using bite size. So if you use EE services or BT Mobile or Plusnet, and this is the first of, I hope, a number of partnerships. So the BBC is all about getting that access, and that's been the big thing I've been pushing this year. Uh, talk about access. I mean, if you phone up Marcus Rashford or Hassan Blumenthal, do they say, <laughs> yeah, we're in, Tim? Well, look, the one, the one thing about this crisis is... Um, often things that took a long time can get done very fast and people generally, I mean, I, I think there's, there's so much um, pressure on parents, there's so many demands on households, but you know most people want to help. Most people have a good heart. They want to uh, lean in and do this stuff. And the great, the great thing is we're getting big numbers as well. Even last week, before we started, we had 1.2 million people uh, a day coming to our bite-sized services. So, look, uh, as a parent, I know uh, the battle with children when they're in front of a screen, and I would say as the person running the BBC, get them in front of this stuff because it's, it's really educational. And I think it's what everyone wants to get, uh, um, you know, helping with. Um, we we haven't had any problem with people wanting to get involved. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of, of the education then, uh, Professor, what, what is involved in, in your lesson? I think last time we spoke to you, you were uh, talking to some of your university students. What about those a little younger down the scale? 
Well, yeah, um, the, the lessons I did were focused on, I suppose, the, the 10 year olds, that kind of age group and, and basic physics. Um, and but also, as, as Tim said, the key point, a key point is to and I think this content does that is to be to be exciting and entertaining and educational. It's, it's Rethian, right? It's informing, <laughs> entertaining, but it genuinely is. And, and but but I, I emphasize that it's not. You know, this is not just um, a sort of programs that have been thrown together. I think Tim's point was very important that over the years, the BBC has had this, it has this infrastructure, the bite sized infrastructure. It has access to the experts. I mean, my, my program, The Planets, was made in collaboration with the Open University, for example. So there's this network across education at all ages, which can be mobilized very quickly. And that's, that's what's happened. And um, I should say, I mean, one of the highlights for me, by the way, I, I have an 11 year old and Horrible Histories is on throughout this week. It's actually History and Maths Day today. And Horrible Histories is a perfect example, I think, of a genuinely Rethian programme because it's tremendously entertaining. But uh, my 11 year old knows a lot more about history than I do. And it comes from watching that programme in particular. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you very much indeed, Professor Brian Cox and uh, Tim Davey as well. Thank you both very much for your time this morning. Thank you. Ah, another lockdown, the kids are at home and the pressure's on to keep them learning. And unfortunately for me, there's more to the curriculum than just physics. But luckily, the BBC is making education more accessible than ever, with learning for every child of every age group, every day of the week, online, on iPlayer and now on TV. Dad, can I watch the telly? Sure. Really? Just go to the BBC website and look for lockdown learning.